If you want to know what it takes to grow a commercial real estate agency brand from nothing, zero, to five offices in just over a year, then don't go anywhere. We're going to be speaking to the man who has achieved that and has even bigger plans on today's episode of the show. Hello and welcome to CRE Success, the podcast. My name's Darren Krakowiak. Really appreciate you being here. I help commercial real estate leaders to develop their people and to grow their business. And as part of the relaunch of the show, we are speaking to more guests. And we've got a great one for you today. A guest who actually was a guest before on the show. I've had the pleasure of working with Dan as a client on a couple of occasions last year and more recently on a monthly basis in our one-on-one program. He's worked for Knight Frank and CBRE, and he launched his very own brand in July 2021. Dan O'Brien, welcome back to CRE Success, the podcast. Thank you, Darren. Thanks for having me back. It's great to have our first boomerang. The first question I want to ask you is, who are you and how do you help? I'm Daniel O'Brien. I have a company called X Commercial, and I help people. Our mission statement is to create wealth for our clients and our staff. Awesome. So we want to focus on three areas in today's conversation. We want to focus on your area of excellence, which I've identified as starting and growing a commercial real estate brand. Now you're a gun on social media. You're a, you're an awesome agent and a great leader as well, but this is the area I want to focus in on today. We'll talk a little bit about leadership and agency as well. And sure. finally, I want to talk to you about some of the work that we've been doing together uh, with a, with you as a client in the CRE success. So uh, first of all, in your area of excellence, you've started up X Commercial. What made you do that? I wanted to build my own business. So uh, yeah, and I left a franchise group, uh, which wasn't giving me any value. So I thought I'd start my own brand. And, um, and yeah, that was um, just over 12 months ago now. Okay. And why did you call the business X Commercial? It was actually a, uh, a working title. I, I couldn't think of what else to call this business I was going to start. So I called it, I just said, you know, I called it X Realty actually at the start. And then that didn't sound right. So I just said, well, let's just call it X Commercial. And um, and you say things often enough to yourself, they start to, you know, grow, grow traction. And then it started to sound good. So that's why I called it X Commercial. I, I like it. I love the branding as well. X marks <laughs> the spot on the map. Yeah, it's less raunchy than triple X commercial as well. So um, right. I think you've got the right That's amount right. of X's there. I guess also is at the bottom of every treasure map when you're a kid, there's, you know, X marks a spot as the treasure. And I think we need to look at our clients' properties like that. And we've in, incorporated that into some of our marketing and IMs with our location maps. You know, there's always an X uh, over the over the treasure, over, over the treasure. Um, so and that's their property. So yeah, thanks, Darren. Awesome. So what makes you different what is it that x commercial can offer that other agencies can't um we can offer ownership uh from for agents in in who are seeking ownership so uh we know we we give other agents like i was five years ago the chance to break away and build their own business uh under an x commercial banner and um that's one of the reasons the other reason is we offer scalability for other partner offices to come in so they can come in with us and and you know you go from having a three or four hundred management property office to having being part of a group that's got two or three thousand managements so automatically you get that scale if you plug your business into the x commercial model and you don't get that if you're an independent on your own yep well, in terms of scale, you've done an amazing job. You've gone from zero offices on the 30th of June, 2021. I know you launched, I think it was the 1st of July, 2021. Yeah. Yep. And you've gone from where you started to five offices by October, 2022, mm. which is fantastic. So congratulations on that. I should point out to our listeners who have either suppressed their memories from that part of uh, history or don't live in Australia. That that was also a period (laughs) where Sydney and Melbourne were locked down for about three or four months. So really you've had one year of real operation. You've got it up to to five offices, which is incredible. So congratulations. Um, I'm curious to hear what are your plans for continued growth of the brand? 
So I'd like to get more partner. I'd like to get more partner offices in, and and we've got one partner office at the moment, our city fringe office, and that's a partner office where the where the, the gentleman there used to be an independent, and he saw the benefits in coming into ex commercial with us, uh, and he's really appreciated that growth for himself as well and the scalability that he's got. Now I'd I'd like to get more offices in and more partner offices, so potentially offices that are currently, you know, in a franchise or an independent boutique kind of office to come and join us and get the scalability we offer because we are not a franchise and we're not we're not a global firm obviously but we have some great uh, we we have a lot of great benefits you get by joining us rather than go, going alone and maybe in in 60 seconds if you can just explain to our listeners who aren't aware what is the difference between being able to come on as a partner as opposed to uh, opening up as a franchise under one of the other brands that offer franchises in Australia? Yeah, so I think what we offer is just massive value if you're going to become a partner office. And we share a communal database. You have access to shared services that you don't get if you're a, a another franchise. So you've got a marketing director, we've got a sales trainer, we've got a recruiter, we've got a valuer, we've got a finance broker, we've got all these people in-house. So you get access to that immediately if you join us. And I get being a business owner in a franchise or a boutique agency, I get that you're not getting value. I understand it. And we've created X to cater for you, that you will, and you will get massive value. And our partner offices are are getting massive value. And I really want to get more partner offices in New South Wales over the next 12 to 24 months. Okay. And what about the rest of Australia? Well, I think let, let's just get our first 10 offices up and going and we've got five and and then once we have 10, then yeah, let's go to Brisbane and let's go to Melbourne and, and let's see how far we can take this. Yeah. Just a lazy 10 to start with. Just a 10, <laughs> just 10. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's um, talk about leadership and also about agency. So I want to hear from you. What do you think are the attributes of a great commercial agent? You have to be consistent and you have to be disciplined you need to be persistent as well as consistently persistent if that makes sense you also need to um you also need to enjoy um rejection as weird as that sounds um to be a really good agent you need to understand that it's not saying no to you they're just saying no i'm not ready yet so i think that's a really that's a great attribute and most of the most of the great agents are the guys who are on the phone all day long hustling. How, how long do you think it takes an agent to enjoy rejection? Um, a long time. <laughs> a long time. Um, I, I look, I think six. I think six to twelve months. I think you should be used to it by then. Okay. All right. What's the most exciting part for you of running your own business? The most exciting part is watching everyone else work together and watching them succeed. Um, the other most exciting thing is I had a team meeting with all the officers and, and last week, and we've got 40 odd staff, 45 staff. That's cool. You know, standing in front of a group of 45 people that, you know, is, is your own business. That's cool. Yeah. And that's exciting. So when I first met you a couple of years ago, you were operating your office in South Sydney. How many staff did you have at the time then? Uh, we had about 12 or 13. Well, wow. so it's it's four X to yeah. pardon the pun in that period of time. Hmm. So, what's one lesson about leadership that perhaps you wish that you had learned sooner? Uh, I w- wish I learned to talk last in team meetings sooner. So, I think, and also that you can lead from the back. You don't always have to lead from the front. Leading from the front is very energy sapping, as as you would know yourself. Um, and I think leading from the back and encouragement. I wish someone taught me that sooner. When you say speaking last, is that so your opinions don't sort of reverberate and dominate and sort of give other voices a chance to speak? Or is there some other strategy yes. behind that? No, no. It's it's the fact that I'm not the most creative bloke and hearing other people's ideas is is a really good way to find out, uh, you know, take the temperature of the office, I guess, and to get some really cool ideas. Fantastic. That's a great tip. Um, so as CRE success, uh, as a client of ours, you've been, uh, well, we, we did a little bit of work last year during the, the lockdown, but you've been 
working with us in the leadership program for a few months now. What is it that mm -hmm. made you want to start working with CRE Success? What was the reason why you joined the program? I'm a big fan of your podcast and I'm, I, I really enjoy listening to all your guests. And that's kind of, that's helped me um, engage with you in this kind of coaching relationship. I mean, I've had sales coaches. I've had a mindset coach. I still have a business coach and I find you're a really good mix of all three. So uh, I appreciate the fact that after we first started, you took a look under the hood here and the business and I was you know, showing you comfortable enough to show you all my financials and my projections and really talk you through the, the the micro. And you're very good at that. But also you said, look, you're doing that well. Let's move on to something else. And you really identified what I was doing well and what I could be doing better. And we're only focusing on the stuff that I can do better. Okay. So I like the fact that you tailored it for me because initially you did send me that, you know, 12 pro month program and and, and that, that that was really good. And then after that, you've really tailored it down for me. So in terms Excellent. of investment, I thought it's great value. Awesome. Great value. Okay, good. Um, is the program what you expected though? I didn't, I didn't know what to expect, but it's been extremely helpful. So if that's an answer, yeah, the one-on-one, -on -one, the one-on-one -on -one with you is very, very valuable for me. Okay. And and what's the the value? if you like the direct value or the indirect value for you and for your business? Well, the direct value is you told me a month ago, I've got too many direct reports. So we fixed that up and I've got back half a day a week. So I think that's direct uh, and indirect. That's pretty direct. Yep. That's worked. Um, and, you know, there's things, as you know, that we're still working on, but some tips like that, I, I didn't think of myself. So. That, that, that was very good. Okay. And what would you say to someone who's thinking about joining the program? Oh, I'd, I'd encourage them to do it. I mean, all the main, you know, you, you need a coach, but also you need a specific real estate coach. Like there are a lot of business coaches and I've had a few, they don't get agency. They, they just don't. And, and, and you do. And there's, you know, commercial agency you know i'm not sure of anyone i can't think of anyone else doing that at the moment so and let's face it like if roger federer and tiger woods and all these guys have coaches we're all not that great so we can we can definitely use the help very good point um if you could describe for me in one word I know this is maybe a tough question um what's one word to describe the process that you and i are working through together collaborative okay good thank you all right I'll, i asked one word you gave it to me um, any other <laughs> thoughts about the process that you think would be helpful to uh you know for other people to understand about the program or about some of what you've already implemented oh i just think if if, you, if you're if you're a business owner and you don't have a coach or someone like yourself you really need one and it'll just allow you to learn from other people's mistakes right so you don't make them yourself Yes. So that, for me, that's pretty simple. And even if you do have a coach, like I've got another business coach, but I'm using both of you, right? You give me specific commercial real estate agency structure tips, which I need. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's my answer. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And if people listening want to get in contact with you, if they're interested in learning more about X commercial or if they're potentially interested in, becoming your next partner office in New mm. South Wales or beyond, what's the yeah. best way that they can find out more? Call me, text me, email me, um, X commercial, check, check the website out. Um, there's, you know, videos on there, but yeah, give me a ring. I would love to sit down with you and work out how we can work together. Dan, thanks for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me again, mate. Thank you. Thanks so much, Dan, for being with us on the show. Fantastic to hear about everything that you've achieved so far. And, all the other plans that you have for X commercial. Now, if you are curious, if you would be a good fit for the program that we've been working with Dan on from a leadership perspective, then go to cresuccess.co forward slash leadership. On that page, you can find out more information about the program and you can assess if it's something that could be helpful to you. If it is, then we'll invite you to take that next step 
check it out at cresuccess.co forward slash leadership. That is our show for today. Thank you so much for listening. I will speak to you soon.